Well, next, this was a big race, but it turned out to be the foregone conclusion many thought it would be after other candidates dropped out late. A runaway in the Democratic primary for the U.S. Senate, Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes easily winning a race that was called just 27 minutes after the polls closed. Our Catherine Merck is live in Milwaukee. She is at the Barnes event tonight. Catherine, what's the feeling in the room there now? It's been about an hour now since Mandela Barnes came out and addressed the crowd after his big win. And the excitement has not stopped here anytime since then. As he walked out tonight, I saw the crowd absolutely erupt in excitement for his victory. And it's clear based on that that Wisconsin Democrats have his support here. In his speech, he talked about how tonight is just the beginning for his campaign as the focus now shifts toward November. We need more real people in the United States Senate. Because as you all know, the way that we'll change Washington is when we change the people we send to Washington. And I'm here to tell you, that work starts today. And while the celebrations are not stopping here in Milwaukee anytime soon, it's back to business for Barnes tomorrow. He's going to start another campaign where he gets back on the road to try and rally more support as he goes up against Ron Johnson this November. Reporting in Milwaukee. I'm Catherine Murph for News 3 Now. All right, Catherine, thank you. On the Republican side of the Senate, Senator Johnson did have a primary competitor, but this too was also called within 30 minutes of the polls closing. Now,